Welcome to my Bible study this morning um, on Exodus chapter 28, verses 40 to 43. Let me read some verses if you'll follow along with me in your Bible and make some comments. And for Aaron's sons, thou shalt make coats, and thou shalt make them for girdles and bonnets, shalt thou make for them for glory and for beauty. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother, and his son upon with him, and shalt anoint them and consecrate them, and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness, even the loins, even unto the thigh, from the loins, even unto the thighs they shall reach. And they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons when they come into unto the cabern, tabernacle of the congregation, or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place. That they bear not iniquity and die, it shall be a statute forever unto him and his seed after him. One of the most interesting things about this passage is found in verse 42. Fundamentalists in America make a big deal about women not wearing slacks, pants, or trousers. They refer to them as the biblical breeches. The problem with that is that breeches, breeches are underwear that go from the loins to the thighs. Now, loins and thighs are references to the parts of the body that contain the reproductive organs and the organs of waste elimination. On the outside of the body is the, is the area where the sword or dagger is hung. Genesis 35, 11, and God said unto him, I have God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. Song of Solomon 7, 1, how beautiful are thy feet with shoes, O prince's daughter. The joints of thy thighs are like jewels, the work of the hands of a cunning workman. Judges 3, 16, but Ehud made him a dagger which had two edges of a cubit length, and he did gird it under his raiment upon his right thigh. Pants wearing didn't become common in Europe until 8th century A.D., after the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the first recorded wearing of pants was for horse riding Scythians of the 8th century BC. The Romans regarded wearing pants as a sign of being barbarians due to the horse riding hordes that constantly threatened the empire. How people have twisted the Bible when they have an agenda to push is amazing. The God of the Bible values modesty, and this is very clear command and warning and a warning. But twisting the Bible to suit a social agenda is not acceptable. So we'll, we'll stop there for today and pick it up in, in uh, Exodus 29 um, next time. Um, and, uh, and then and I will uh, just make a few comments. So if you want to, uh, I pray that you would study your Bible, read your Bible, cross-reference the verses, pray to God for wisdom and understanding, and then share your interpretation with someone else, please. Um, and, uh, thank you.